Hey guys, what's up? Team Maddie back here again, and we're looking at another book today for a review. And this is I Used to Be a Miserable Fuck, F word, sorry, by John Kim, the angry therapist. Uh, this is an every man's guide to a meaningful life. Now, when I first got this book, it was quite a while ago. It was probably at the beginning of the year. It was actually a gift from my ex fiance uh, at the time she got it to me when um, I'm not sure why she got it for me. But either way, uh, the time from the time I got this book and looked over it the first time to the, the just recent, well, not just recent, it was a couple months ago when I finished this book, it was a um, huge change. Actually made me pretty sad because I realized the, the amount of change that had happened in my life, the amount of growth, the amount of setbacks, the amount that I still need to look at and fix and work on. But this book has helped me look at some of those things and see them from different angles. Uh, a lot of guys really need to see these angles, uh, really need to see what is going on when it comes to this book. Um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting, the layout of this book. So the chapters are like set up where he's got the kind of the, how would you say, a synopsis of the chapter or, uh, you know, what it's about at the end of it. So, but he call he puts it, he says, in a shot glass. John Kim labels it as in a shot glass. So like a too long, didn't read, this is what it is, this is what it's about. So if you got uh, love and relationships is one of the chapters. And at the end of it says love and relationships in a shot glass. Men don't react, they respond. So he, he talks about reacting as uh, something happens and you're reactionary. That's not a man thing to do. That's not a good thing to do. Or just a grown up adult mature thing to do is you don't just let your emotions control you and rule you and react to stuff. You respond, you take time to absorb it. You let your emotions pass. You, you look at them, you analyze them, you formulate a response and you then um, you act on your response. You, you don't let the situation or the emotions that come over you roll you. You don't react. So men do the dishes because they want to, all right? Men don't call women fat ever. Men express love as an action, not just as a feeling. Men couldn't care less about their partner's sexual history. Men love hard. We'll just do it. He has a section, love and relationships. He labels it out. So by now I've made it pretty clear that my divorce was the turning point in my life. He talks about like how this relates to his life and how he wants to teach you about it. Then he talks about in a shot glass, a very quick synopsis of the topic. Then he'll go into the things that he talks about in the shot glass. So men don't react, they respond. Boom, chapter 24. Do, do respond, don't react. And he talks about what that looks like, what reacting looks like. Uh, what the fuck are you so happy about? You toss your things on the couch, beeline straight to the bedroom and slam the door. You know, you get, you, you know, things happen, you just get upset and you act like an asshole. Don't put your shoulds on others. Pull from curiosity. Try to understand things before being understood. Do say I was wrong. He talks about the things that men should do. Men, things that men shouldn't do. So like, you know, do dance. Do things that make you feel alive. Don't take yourself too seriously. All these things, go on mandates. Enjoy your friendship, you know? Have your friends go on mandates. Take that time. Talk about your emotions. There's so many things in here, so many gold tidbits of information. Not everything I agree with, okay? Um, especially chapter, is I think page 191 maybe? Let me see here. Because he labels things love and relationship, communication, career, finances, success, stuff like that. Um, all these things. You know, don't debate everything. Uh, cleaning your bedroom, tipping well, everything else. Okay, so on page 191 in the back, everything else. Chapter 60, don't wear skinny jeans. That's the personal one I stand by. It. Wear pants that fit, that's all. Skinny jeans fit me very well. I like skinny jeans. I don't agree with that chapter. Um, you can tell, he talks a lot about himself, which I like it because it makes it feel like a personal conversation, but he does he does get very passionate about CrossFit and he gets very passionate about motorcycles and he talks about those quite often. So if you like those things, you can really relate to this guy and you can see what he's talking about and what's going on. Not just CrossFit, but as, uh, physical exercise is a form of release. Um, but he talks about like responsibilities, how men, you know, put their responsibilities before everything. Don't drive like a dick, be physically affectionate, you know, show love, talk about your feelings. Um, he talks about his, his, his place in the job world. Uh, don't be the I don't know guy. Um, so many gold tidbits of information. I love this book. Uh, I honestly, I teared up at the end after I finished it. Let me just, um, if you don't mind, spoilers here at the end. If you don't want spoilers, sorry, skip this part. He's got a bunch of um, 
people that he looks up to. He talks about the end, Tony Robbins, The Rock, Matt Damon, all these guys. Uh, acknowledgements. But yeah, basically, uh, so this guy, he was a he was a screenwriter, screenplay writer, lived out in California. He's Korean. His parents owned a restaurant. He thought he was going to make it big as a screenplay writer. He uh, got married young to a girl, and he he realized that um, you know he wasn't going anywhere in his career, and he was he was trying to live this uh, this this life that wasn't him. He was holding up this facade. He was you know acting like a douche for a lack of a better term. Uh, he says in here not to be a double douche and there's some things in there you have to read for yourself. But he talks about how he was becoming someone that was just miserable, he was horrible, he was treating everyone that actually loved him like an a-hole. He wasn't able to say sorry, he wasn't able to hold keep promises. Um, he was just trying to be someone he wasn't. It made him miserable. Uh, he wasn't able to be a like a man. He was acting like a child in a lot of parts of his life, and that destroyed his relationship with his friends, with his wife. He eventually got divorced. He quit his career, found CrossFit, became a therapist, and started helping teenagers, kids. And once he saw them develop, he realized he has to also develop himself as a man, and that's really helped him, and he came through with this book. Um, and he talks about the things that made him unhappy and the way he acted. And when you read these, you can see some of the things. I doubt you'll actually fit all these categories, even if you are the worst a person in the world. But, um, uh, you know, you can, uh, you can see a lot of these things that you're probably doing and you don't even realize. For instance, there's a part on saying sorry. Um, I'm horrible at saying sorry. A lot of people have told me this. I, I don't, I didn't even know that that's what I was doing, but I'd be like, I'm sorry you feel that way. Or if someone was like, you know, what you did that back there really pissed me off, I'd be, I'm sorry about, I'm sorry that what I did pissed you off. It's not, it wasn't just, I'm sorry, period. I'm sorry, and I can see how you would feel that way. I really didn't realize that it would hurt you, and I'm not gonna do that again if that's the case. But no, I wouldn't do that. I would just say, I'm sorry that you feel that way. And that's just, that's not the way to go about it. But there's things that I didn't even realize that you will find in this book. I highly suggest you pick it up. Um, gosh dang. Uh, he talks about the universe a lot too, but but then he has a quote from Robin Williams about God um, in the beginning of it. I don't know. I'm a Christian. Uh, so there's, I wish I would replace, when I read this, I replace the universe with God sometimes, as long as it's within a Christian light. I don't really think that the universe is a sentient being, sorry. I'm just not like that. Um, there's definitely God at play. There's definitely an adversary at play. But this book has great, great tidbits of information if you are trying to be a better man or a better person in general for you in here i highly suggest it um if you can get over some of the other things which there's not a whole lot to get over even and this is a quick read it's only 200 and shoot 20 pages if you read all the way to the very end where he talks about some songs that he really likes um recommended listening songs um so yeah <laughs> 220 pages really easy read if you don't want to read the whole thing you can read the synopsis uh then he's got other pieces in here that you can skip through too like um ways to work on things uh for three shots for getting out of the douche territory or top three shots for getting out of the douche territory and it's just like little quick tidbits that does it, that fits outside of the story um yeah so i'll just read the beginning part up to you after a divorce forced him to confront his shortcomings he started blogging under the name The Angry Therapist, the writing about his struggles that led him to that point as his work, work caught on and catapulted him into an ex unexpected role of life coach and therapist for thousands of people. He evolved from acting like a boy to living like a man and showed his clients how the, to do the same. Uh, boys chase, but men attract. Scheduling mandates can make you a better friend, lover, and human being. Arguing, judging, and saying I don't know are undermining your success at work and at home. All men want the same things, fulfilling careers. All men want the same thing. Uh, all men want the same things, fulfilling careers, supportive relationships, real respect, and lasting love. It starts with challenging yourself to be better, not just for you, but for everyone around you. If you've ever felt like a miserable fuck, step in the angry therapist's office at the coffee shop and make yourself into the man you've always wanted to be. A timely and habitual guide for finding happiness and purpose, delivering do's and don'ts that will challenge you to examine yourself and your definitions of manhood. Do you separate who you are from what you do? Don't be nice, be kind. So don't don't bring your work home. Don't just be a nice person, be kind. Do express your fucking feelings. Don't punch clocks. Don't make your life about work. Do sweat daily. Don't pee in the shower. You know. Um, 
when I'm done with this video, I want to give this book to my friend Zach Matthews, a uh, really great friend. Helped me through probably the hardest part of my life when I was going through my worst. Um, you know, I was deserving of everything that happened really. You make some mistakes, but uh, losing everything and resetting all the way back to zero within 24 hours is, is pretty hard. You, you have to realize uh, you know, where you messed up at, but trying to, going from, going from having a job to no job to no home to no relationship and everything within one day is, uh, it's pretty hard, it's pretty scary. But I had a great friend along the way and I had to read this book to realize where I was messing up at, where, where, why I was a fucking asshole. So I also want to thank my ex-fiance Taylor so much. I haven't spoken to her a long time. Um, I hope she's doing well. I wish nothing ill against her. Um, I hope, yeah, just all good things, but I have to thank her for getting me this book. Uh, little did she know at the time, she was really helping me out. I probably, I don't know what, I'm glad she saw this and thought of me and got it for me because she has no idea how much I really appreciate this book and how much I've read it and how much I needed to read it and how much I've learned from it. I've probably read this book through two and a half times, just going back and looking at it, trying to Remember things, take notes, study. Uh, Zach, there's a little portion in the front here that I've written out for you. Thank you so much, buddy. I hope this helps you as much as it helps me. I hope you do well um, in everything. Um, all my friends, I know I've let a lot of people down, let a lot of people down over the years, and I've done some pretty stupid stuff. I'm trying to get better every day. I can't always be <laughs> the, you know, I, I want to be the paladin. I want to be the hero, the main character, you know, in my movie. I want to be guy that you that people can depend on and look up to and that's uh, that's my that's my thing so that's it guys that's this book review i hope you pick it up i hope you give it a read it's seriously so easy it's so good guys thank you so much for watching this video i know it's a longer one sorry about getting a little emotional at the end it's just been a long year it's I've been through a lot you guys take it easy stay natty team natty out